Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Medicine Creek 19. Today we are more mowing the bottom half of field 60. Where there ain't no field, it's just land out here. And I just want to show you what uh course play route that this thing generated, so yeah. Anyway, we were going to try it. Let's take this off and drive course. But folks, it's your... Oh, look at all the lions. Whoa, whoa, no. Stop. You're messing up already. This is when I like to have the lions on. Because it didn't take the first route. It took the, the next lane over. This just cause where I was sitting at. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and lower the mower, turn it on, and drive up to these lines right here. Then hit drive course. Stop at the last trigger. All right, we're going to see see what it does. Uh, that is the first. Uh, actually, a tank of diesel, and then maybe a few gallons more. And of course, you'll probably be wanting to see this baby right here. Uh, it's a fine job, fine job. I'm glad I bought it. Let's hop up in here. I, I just love everything about it. Look at the beacons on top. No little to bitty things, but they sure are bright. And this big yellow thing on the corner here is your GPS. Alright, nobody's coming that way. No one's coming this way. Now, I had a uh, GPS line made, but I'm pretty sure it went bye bye. Yep. Okay. But it's different than the other anyway, so we're not going to use it. Um, we are going to try to get to the spray and, and to the uh, planting beans in this episode also. So I'm not going to record all of this. I'm just going to record some. And it always unfolds that way. That's okay. That is okay. Now we're going to mow all the grass that we can. And uh, I'm going to get you a total before we start dumping again of what the upper half gave us. Um, yeah, got to go kind of slow or the mower is going to rock back and forth. But that's all right. Right, I'm gonna get me a AB line set here. And hit Alt E again. And as you can see, that is way too big. So you go Control S, my auto width. And you want to turn this off. We don't need an offset. Uh, it should be four meters wide. And we're just going to go down through here and let it do what it's got to do. Um, and you see the outside boundary. So we're going to mow everything that's on this side of that boundary with this. And let the rhino... Uh, more mow the inside part. Done pretty good so far. Yeah. So I will see y'all here in a bit, folks, when I get a little bit more closer being done. Just want to show a little bit of getting around the poles here. Don't want to hit the pole, but want to go around it. All right, and you see how much fuel we done used. And yeah. 
almost, well, right at a quarter tank. Wait, 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 wait. What course did I load? F62. Right. Well, that should be the right course. Let me turn this away. But uh, we're, we're done mowing here. All we got to do is windrow it and, of course, collect it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know what's wrong. Got to put it on this. Transport mode. All right. Now I'll drive, of course. All right. Got a bink and some everything on. I should have let this one went first. Because it's faster. Lots faster. But anyway. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish collecting this. And, uh, well, we, we need to go to the sprayer. Now, let me find the sprayer. All right, I found the sprayer. Starts good, too. Um, don't know what I did with the chemical tank, but uh, it's full. This thing's full. We're going to head out here before a week gets... Uh, uh, too tall and uh, spray. Now, I do not like the arm sticking out that far, but seems to be doing pretty good. Let's see here. I'll just go in up here. Now pull it up there, or field one, it's kind of an L shape. So what I'm planning on doing is going across the end up here. And then just go back and forth that way. The uh, east and west. Alright, ain't nobody coming. I'm going to go ahead and unfold these wings. Oh, yeah, just because of that fact right there. I go too much in a hole, it's just going to drag. Probably tear off all the nozzles. Alright. See if everything's going to go right. There we go. All, all the nozzles are good. And we are fertilizing. We do have some weeds we're going to have to tackle on this pretty soon. So I guess when this uh, thing about buying a little three-point hitch boom for one of the tractors, just for the weeds, like the uh, loader tractor, it's got the uh, narrow tires on it. It shouldn't hurt anything. Let's take a look inside. This thing is ragged out. Got paint peeling. But hey, as long as it's doing the job. That's all that matters. Right? Right. Look at the weeds right here, folks. We got a good patch of weeds right there. Uh, dandelions, black eyed Susie's. You name it, it's down there. But it's a pretty, it's not a big field, but it is for a combine or equipment. Well, I'm not, not taking out a loan, so we're going to save what money I got up there. But I am going to buy the mini, uh, mini Volvo from FDR Logging. And, uh, I'm probably just a basic call for it. Not nothing fancy, and probably a stump grinder for it. And maybe a blade. I don't think we need the blade, though. We'll just get the stump grinder for now. I think I need to lower this down. Can I lower it? Yeah, there we go. Get more of that on it so it won't drift. But folks, I'm going to get GPS and stuff set up on this. And uh, we'll do around the batteries. And I might just hire a worker. And I'll be right back in a second. All right, folks. As you can see up there on the top left, there is no hiring worker. 
and I can't, this thing's so old, I can't get GPS on it. So, um, I'm going to trade it in. Yeah, after I get the all the fertilizer out of it, of course. I'm all right as long as the wheat don't jump a stage. If it, if it jumps up and I can't see where I went on the ground there, uh, I'm, I'm in trouble, so. Yeah. But anyway, we also, we got to plant some beans today. As you can see, it's 1336, so that's what, 136 in the evening. Yeah, Mr. Blue's going to be busy. I, I, I got to do all this by hand. That eh, won't be too bad. It's just, I, I can't do nothing else. Uh, usually, uh, I'll set GPS and, uh, you know, the little beeps will let you know when you get to the end and stuff and uh, you can do stuff in between like take a bite of a crispito mm. so good but here you can see I have to pay attention so I can get right next to the edge I don't mean to talk with my mouth full folks but I am hungry just woke up I figured I'd get jump up and get recording and um was this third episode i think something like that but anyway i don't want to bore you with all this so um yeah let me finish this and uh we'll see how long it takes it's 13 37 now or if you can't do military time that's 137 and uh, I'll finish every bit of this unless something happens or something. I got one or two tractors I got to uh, take care of. So I'm going to line up here. And I'm not going to worry about this next to the tree line until I'm getting done. Help save some time. But yeah, uh, let's see how long it takes me to get it done. It's Let's say 137. Alright, yeah, I'm back a little bit early. I just hit 75% on my tank. So that means if I didn't count for going across the end, it was almost a round per quarter of a tank. So I get to do two to almost three more rounds and I'll be out. Alright, I made it. I see this is fixing to start my third round and I'm at 53% on the tank so here we go again there a third round all right that was the third round fixing to start the fourth I'm at 36 I don't know if the tank's getting bigger at the bottom or what but I think the roads are getting shorter so uh, I did go across the far end down there, and uh, so I went across both ends except for that, and I didn't go across that. But this is the fourth round. Let's see what we'll get when we get done with it. All right, can I say I done lost track? Uh, I done forgot how many rounds. Uh, I think I'm on the fourth, fixing to start the fifth. Um, yeah, I'm down 18% which is 58 gallons so yeah all right starting the fifth uh, probably have enough to make it through well folks I'm down to about 13 12 11 uh, three gallons left over here or about eight liters left make it to the end make it to the end Oh, made it. Yay. I ain't got enough. I got three liters, which is one gallon. Uh, I do have to empty out, so uh, I'm going to go down here at the end. 
cut across, spray the rest of it out. All right, let's see how long this one gallon lasts. For about two seconds. Huh? Huh? Oh, right there. Ha! Okay, so about five seconds. All right, I'm gonna fold this up, take this thing to the market shop, and uh, do some talking to the guy up there. I, I need to get know his name. I wish John was over here. I like it when John worked. All right, that's up. All righty. All right. Um, you want to sell this for nineteen thousand four hundred and sixty-four dollars? First heck, well, I'm customizing. You got cus, not customize it. You got to repair it before you sell it here. So nineteen four sixty-nine. All right, folks. This is what we're buying right here. It's supposed to be the Mega 2200 by Hardy. Supposed to be a smart sprayer with the, uh, uh, whatever it's called, built into it. Where it shuts on and off when you get, where you're done sprayed and stuff. So, yeah. Alright, we're going to spend the rest of the episode planting some uh, soybeans. And going over a few details. Now, there, there's more in the four wheel drive forward. That uh, blue symbol you've been seeing up on the sprayer with it going. Um, what was I going to say? I ordered the, you know, bought the sprayer and ordered it, so it'll be in here. He said probably later this evening or first thing in the morning. So let's just hope rest of that won't won't get the second. You know, second growth. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I'm going to meet you over at the field. I'm going to do some more talking. There's traffic is not letting up none. I don't look like there's none behind me. Scoot over Mrs. Covered. Alright, we're right here beside her field. I just got to find a inlet to it without hitting any cars coming all right look like here we are top of the hill of course Easy peasy. Oh, there's already weeds growing in this. All right, now we'll take a look at the map. First thing I want to show y'all, this is uh, the patches of trees. Right here's a patch, of course, there, there, there. And then as you can see, all this in between here is trees. And there's also a creek going down through there somewhere patch of trees there and a patch right well a tree right there and that's the rest of our crew to get the rest of this up so this on field 60 itself folks we're gonna scroll over and look now by the way uh, that one place that you see beacon uh, yeah flashing on the map it's for oats uh, 898 uh, whatever you call that grain um, but anyway, back to the map. We're going to go over here to our field. Uh, it's been plowed. That's the only thing that's been done. Um, yeah, there's nothing in it as far as fertilizer and stuff. Uh, it's got one thing of fertilization on it. And uh, all this is on, so they don't need lime or need plowing. Of course, it's just been plowed, but you know what I mean. It, it needs to be cultivated, but we we just ain't got it, folks. Uh, let's see, did I have GPS on this tractor? I thought I had it on a spray board, but 
Okay, yeah, we do have GPS, so, um, what I'm going to do, let's see here, go ahead and drop this, I'm going to turn it on, shut my beacons off, what hazards, I mean, we are on soybeans, so, uh, let's go ahead and pull forward, lower that down, it's going to be a little bit rough, but hey, it, it, it'll be alright. We'll get a roller or something come in here. I don't have a roller. Old. But uh, we're going to have to do this in an angle to get our long row. So let's, I'm going to go around uh, the headland here. Maybe a couple of times. I don't know. If I go like that, it's going to be short rows, so maybe over on this far side. It's pretty smooth to be plowed. I'm going to come in here with these trees and trim some of these limbs. Alright, looks like this is uh, about the best angle I can get. I pulled up some and I'm trying to back up enough where I can get that AB line I'm going here and set our width 13 12 no no offset so that's good and it looks like that's going to be our GPS line there turn this back on lower it down and off we go Too bad, rough. Our speed set here. Oh yeah. I, I did undo the the ridge marker. So um, do we have ridge markers? Get my Xbox controllers up here. Ridge marker. Oh wow. That's awfully big ridge marker. I wish it would let both of them down at the same time. Now I don't know if the ridge marker add on thing will do that or not, but. Oh well. We got GPS, so. That's, that's your ridge markers. Wow, that's an awfully big. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to get some of this done and I'll see you here in a bit. Okay, I just hired a worker. And it's going pretty much the same as our GPS is. So. Not too bad offline. I'm gonna let him run. I'm gonna see which way he turns around first. I'm gonna take this back off. Uh oh. No, no. What did I just do? Oh lordy. Get back here. I was just trying to take the uh, the AI thing off. Okay, we're back on course now. Yeah, we are getting a little bit off course, but I think it'll be all right. As long as he can turn around on the ends. I can come back and get the ends. It, it really don't matter about that, but I need to go get the uh, grass off the ground before it turns into hay. And one of my other workers is in traffic. Let's see which way he turns. Come on, baby, you don't have to back up that far. Or do you? There you go. It's supposed to make a big wide circle. Yeah, I'm glad he's coming back on this side. Let's see what it looks like on the uh, 
map here. There we go. That's uh, planted right there. And we're planting soybeans. So, yeah. yeah. He's overlapping a little bit, but that'd be alright. Uh, we're not putting down no fertilization with it, so we're going to have to come spray this when we get done planting it. But, folks, let's see here. I'm going to hop out, jump over here. This should be our SMR. Okay, what are you doing there? Right, let's take this out. Close. Uh, he's supposed to be over there. I guess I forgot to hit the you know, stop at the last mark, uh, end point. Anyway, it's going to turn around and we're just going to park it right here. Temporary. Um, planning on mowing around that next and mowing our grass fields behind us. Yeah, but all this down here is going to be hay, so we're going to have to let it sit out for a while. Let's check out the weather real quick. Um, soybeans are still good. We're planting soybeans, so we got a while to plant them. Here's our weather. Um, as you can see, we got just a little bit of a drying spot here, but after that, Saturday... Uh, Looks like 6 in the morning to about 3 o'clock in the evening. It's good drying time, so that's good. We're going to try to get um, doing this. Let's see here. No. All right. No, I don't want to zoom in. I want to zoom out a little bit and go over to all oh, my fat fingers. I'll go over here to field 60 and, and zoom in. See, I think it'll probably be close enough. <laughs> okay, oh, right there. Gotta get all this in place. But, folks, I'm gonna end the episode here and, um, yeah, I pretty much know what, uh, all this looks like I'm planting is just planting it's gonna take me time to wind roll this because uh, it's in circles but I do want to do a flyover as soon as I get this spread it out there we go I'm just gonna go around next to the trees first If I remember right, this would be way the trucks and stuff will be on the left side of the blower, the harvesters there. So, I'm just going to do it in the circles. That's probably the best. Let's go with the trees. All right, let's stop this here. This thing needs fuel too. i right, pull the truck over here. But I want to fly my drone, so uh, let's see here. Go in here. Go to my little person there. Let's turn this on, that on. And, uh, yeah. Alright, here we go. So I take everything off so we can get a better picture. Let's go over here. You can see how many trees right there are separating the north from the south. Big old patch there. Well, I got a little patch here, and then uh, we got all this done. I see here. I don't know. I need to come down some. You probably can see it right there. It's like dirt patches. That's as far as my uh, leveling tool and stuff will let me go. I can't go past that than any other ground or anything so yeah but yeah I even mowed a ditch here 
and you see there's one or two trees right there yeah there's two we'll get that done and we can make a straight edge down through there that'd be awesome and then take out these right here and you can see the slough right here it kind of just goes down through here so it's almost a straight path in a way when it starts curving somewhere in there trees get too thick to actually see but look like it goes more to this side over oh no it goes back it zigzags down through there so but as far as the grass and stuff up here this is what we got we got a little island right there then an island here of trees and another one right there and then that right there so I'm going to say if I get time, take these trees out. So uh, that's what we're going to do. But we, we're going to use that money to get us larger pieces of equipment. Um, let's go check on our planter tractor one more time. And uh, yeah, a lot of people's got their fields plowed up, looks like. Um, let's see, I need to go back down this way. I think. Oh, over this way. All right, there it is. Still doing good. Might have to keep an eye on him. Put them back on this side when he gets down with that one. Uh, anyway, I want to show you we got canola here. Okay. And this other field, field one, is wheat. Okay. And as far as field one, It's, uh, let me go to this next one. That's what I'm wanting. All of our fields need to plow except for 18. Uh, the grass fields can't plow. So, yeah. But 14, 13, and 2 is grass. So, all ones where I have to plow be 1 and 19. Uh, later on, I want to get, uh, well, actually, Let's look at field four here, folks. You're probably going to say, Mr. Blue, you're not thinking about buying a huge field like that, right? Actually, I am. Folks, that field don't need nothing. It's already been lime plowed. You might need it next time, but we're going here. It's been harvested. Okay, we're going to have to probably cultivate it. All depends. We might direct drill, but I want to put soybeans in there. We get field. 18 done. I want to jump over here and you're probably like, oh, Mr. Blue, how are you going to do that? Well, folks, it's a little thing called uh, Control G. This is a global company. You go in here to this icon and you can go. What was that? Field 4? I don't forgot what field it was. Ain't that something? Field 4. I knew that, right? I knew that. Alright, we're going to go field four. We're going to lease. Uh, field four for $10,450. Uh, now, I don't know if that's a day or, or what, but uh, hit no. Go back in here, field four again. Total value of purchase field fields. That's ones I already got. I, I thought that was a million dollars and something for something. But lease is a day. Okay, so it, it's going to be $1,000 a day pretty much. So, yes, we're going to lease it. And we're going to plant soybeans. And after we get done with those soybeans, we're going we're gonna to unlease it for a while. I let them do the field work on it and stuff. Go from there. But folks, that's the plan I got. I'm already in a little over too far in this video. 35 minutes. I want in like 25. But yeah, um, I gotta hurry up and get this picked up because it's starting to look like hay. And I, if I remember right, I bet you hay won't go into that uh, uh silo up there so gotta get my trucks and everything ready so 
Folks, I appreciate y'all watching. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day. And uh, I'll, I'll see you in the next episode here on Medicine Creek. Later.